Welcome to an Epic My Name Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we do have our MDT Hell's Gate Attire Custom Showcase. If you guys have not checked out MDT Hell's Gate, it was finally posted up yesterday, and I just want to give the biggest effing shout out to everyone who tuned into the live. Absolutely blew my mind. I think we had like 2,000 people or almost 2,000 people watching at one given time, and just the chat blowing up and watching the show was just amazing to watch unfold and see your guys' reactions. You know, you're, you get upset or you loving it or reacting to a spot or an attire or whatever the case was I appreciate you guys so very much it was uh, very fun and you know we worked our ass off on that show I literally grinded so hard on that show and I did everything I could for you guys and I know we ran into so many freaking speed bumps but we finally got it up and I appreciate you guys so much if you guys missed the show definitely go check it out before you check out this video I think I'm pretty sure if you're watching this video you've probably already seen it or at least seen a lot of it so I appreciate you guys right there but Let's go ahead and get into this, guys. I had a ton of people talking about all the customs that took place and all of that, but uh, I just wanted to say that not only was the Hell's Gate dedicated to Alley Cat, but it was also dedicated to those long-term fans, those fans that have been there since the very beginning, the fans that have seen the pick fed from episode one when it was god-awful, you know, there was no really good posing at all, and it was just kind of just throwing shit at the wall. All the way up till now, um, that show was dedicated to you guys, and I just appreciate everyone so much for coming by the live for the... I had a couple donations. I had, you know, all that stuff. You guys are amazing, man. I just wanted to thank you guys from the bottom of my heart. It was it was just excellent. And uh, you, you guys are just amazing. The, the feedback on Instagram and the comment section and everything like that was fantastic. And I just appreciate it, man. So with that being said, guys, let's go ahead and get in here because I put a ton of effort in here. And I had to keep so many custom secret. There's so many figures right here that I had to keep secret for so freaking long until that show was posted. And I almost posted them multiple times. And I had them, you know, out there. I was like, oh, I'm going to post it. I'm going to post it. And then I said, you know what, Brad? I'm not going to post it. I'm just going to hold off. I've already held off this long. You might as well go a little bit longer. Longer, guys. So let's go ahead and dive in. I'm going to start off with Johnny Gargano. Now this attire right here, where I got the inspiration was obviously his Iron Man attire. You know, his actual... If this Stand the hell up. This attire is pretty much inspired by his Iron Man gear that he's worn in the past. You guys know what I'm talking about. So basically, I, I hit up Curb Stomp and I said, you know, can you make me the Iron Man, you know, uh, decals from the, the, I can't remember the takeover, he wore the Iron Man gear, obviously, in the red and gold. And I said, can you make me the graphics but change all of the red to blue? He said he could do it, and uh, he made all the decals, and pretty much I painted this up. I painted up a Mustafa Ali vest. I put the arc reactor in the middle. You got all the metallic blue and gold going through. Let me go ahead and take this vest off. All right, guys, so right here you guys will see the trunks are, you know, metallic blue. You got the metallic gold going through. You got the Iron Man Johnny Gargano emoji, the gold going through. On the back, you do have Johnny Wrestling. There is some paint chipping and some stuff where, you know, I pose it around and stuff like that. I can easily touch that up. What I did for the knee pads is, uh, God, whose knee pads were these? I can't, I can't even remember. I think I just found them randomly in my fodder bin. I don't think they're Ryback, but there's they're something like that. There's some random blue knee pads, and I cannot remember the figure that they're from right now. But nonetheless, I took some, okay, believe it or not, I took some Elite 64. It's Elite 64 Kurt Hawkins, and I just removed all of the paint, and then I obviously just added the, uh, the, the different decals to it. And they stuck well. You got the decals on the knee pads and everything like that, and I was very excited for this. So basically, uh, I wanted him to match the Iron Man Championship. I wanted it to be an Iron Man Championship from Vindication attire so that is why it is the Iron Man attire but in blue and gold to match the Iron Man championship that Cody Rhodes currently holds so this is the championship that he was trying to match right there and obviously the gold isn't completely matching this is more of like a yellow color on the title but you guys see where the inspiration was from right there and it's got gold on the outskirts and in there so that was pretty much it and then you have the silver plates in with the silver I just thought it was a pretty unique idea I thought it was pretty badass to try and match the title in that Iron Man gear so that that, that was the inspiration inspiration behind the Johnny Gargano. Next up guys we do have our Doctor of Thugonomics John Cena. Now this one was pretty easy and it's more of just a fix up but I just took one of those defining moments John Cena's. I put the Elite 3 head scan on there until we get a pissed off John Cena. I think the new Ultimate Edition Series 5 is going to have that so maybe I can fix that up. I did keep his I went to the word life arm bands while mixing them together with chain gang because I, I want him to be you know chain gang and word life right here. So he does have his word life brass knucks on 
there. He's got his jorts. He does have his chain gang chain, chain gang hat, and he does have a custom Red Sox jersey because John Cena back in the day in 2003, 2004 was always rocking a New Jersey. And I'll probably get some more made, but just for this one, a little Easter egg for you. I'm a, I'm a Boston Red Sox fan, and my favorite player of all time is Manny Ramirez. So I had a Manny Ramirez baseball jersey made for the John Cena custom, and uh, I thought that was pretty cool just to, you know, put in some stuff that I like. So any jersey he rocks will probably be some of my favorite players of all time or anybody, you know, athletes that I look up to or that were inspirations to me. So I wanted to start off with a baseball jersey, so I went with Manny for my first one, but there is John Cena. Next up, guys, we do have the extreme champion Kevin Owens right here. He went to war with Buddy Murphy. Now, I wanted to do something cool for Buddy Murphy. I actually wanted Buddy Murphy to be the Chase variant Buddy Murphy. That could not take place. Uh, you know, I ran out of time when ordering that, but I did get uh, custom figure shirts on Instagram, did make the Kevin Owens shirt, and he did make the Red Sox jersey. So hit up custom underscore figure underscore shirts on Instagram. He makes really high quality stuff. And, you know, I still got to clean him up. You know, there's a ton of people back here that have blood all over their faces, so I'm definitely going to have to get that touched up and fixed. But nonetheless, Kevin Owens looks great. I, you know, you guys remember from the Royal Rumble, he had the Kevin F. and Owens shirt in the white, and he had the black, red, and white shorts and the kick pads and stuff like that. I wanted to change up the attire, and, you know, we, we want to do custom attires for every big show and every pay-per-view, so that's what I've done here. Uh, I wanted to keep the same shirt design because I think that's pretty cool. It matches the Hell's Gate theme, and then I just took his Elite 66 figure, colored over the blue with orange to make that orange and white KO on the shorts, and then I just wanted to make his kick pads have the orange faces on there because it'd make it pop more, and there you go. You got the Hell's Gate Kevin Owens. I thought it was a pretty cool attire. I actually didn't expect a lot of people to enjoy this attire. I just was like, whatever, you know, I, I just want to keep it secret, but a lot of people love this KO, so I thought that was pretty unique, and I appreciated your guys' reaction to that. So there's Kevin Owens right there, Extreme Champion. Next up, guys, I guess we'll get into the one that everyone was just losing their damn mind over, and that is the Buzz Lightyear Custom Elite Seth freaking Rollins. Now, this idea actually popped in my head when I was in Disney, I think. I, I've had this figure done forever, guys. I was sitting in Disney and uh, I bought a couple of Buzz Lightyears. I'm a huge Buzz Lightyear fan. My son, actually, his nursery is Buzz Lightyear themed. I have custom Buzz Lightyear shoes made. I have uh, Buzz Lightyear t-shirts and, and all kinds of stuff. So I am a huge Buzz Lightyear fan. And one day I was just looking at the Space Ranger logo right here. And I was like, holy shit, Brad, I have to try this. So I went on to 2K, WWE 2K, and I did a mock-up of a you know Buzz Lightyear themed Seth Rollins. And once I made it, I brought it to curb stomp and I said hey bro can you make these decals and he made the decals he did an absolutely fantastic job we even have you know all his buttons right here you have the little name tag here that's supposed to say Lightyear, but it does say Rollins I'm going to get up in here so you guys can see it, it does say Rollins right there and so uh, I just painted it. I took an Elite 45 Seth Rollins vest and I acetoned all the all the gold off of it. And then I took an Elite 45 Seth Rollins and um, I had to add chest hair with a pencil. I didn't want to, you know, torso swap it, but I think it turned out all right. Another beautiful thing that was done to this figure is the head sculpt is custom made. It is a basic 102 head sculpt. So it is this head sculpt that I'm about to show you right here. It is this head sculpt right here, but it was custom done by BEW. I commissioned him. I said, hey, bro, I don't know if you guys remember the Neville that I had made forever ago. I went to BEW and I said, hey, can we do a pissed off Seth Rollins? And he thought it was a great idea, so that is what we did. We made a pissed off Seth Rollins and I put it on my Buzz Lightyear custom and that, that was pretty much it, man. I think it looks great. I love the gloves. I wanted to bring back the gloves because you know, they look just like Buzz's gloves. Um, I love the green and purple paneling and lines going down. You got the SR logo, which stands for Space Ranger. It's the exact Space Ranger logo from Buzz and it means Seth Rollins. I Obviously, you got the green and purple knee pads, and then we have the green, purple, and white kick pads. And I, I love this one. I think this is my favorite one. I, I freaking just, I don't know, man. I just thought it was so excellent. You guys know I'm a big Seth fan, and then when I when I made this figure, I, I showed it to a few people. I, th I showed it, you know, to some of my close friends in the community and a few people here and there, and they were losing their minds over it, man. So I thought that, you know, this was great. And shout out to them for keeping that one a secret right there. But uh, I, I love this, man. I love the vest. And I, I can't wait to put him up on the shelf now. Now he has a memory. Too bad. Uh, yeah, 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 never mind. I'm not even going to mention If you guys have seen the show, you, you know what happens. Now, next up, guys, we are going to get into Kenny Omega. Now, Kenny Omega is beaten to absolute health. You guys can see right here he is a bloody freaking mess. But we'll get into his attire anyway. You guys can see he is blood-soaked. He's 
got the open knee pads. Now, right here in the tights, we did go with a Bullet Club belt. He does have a Bullet Club belt. He's got the Kenny Omega logo on the back in gold. On the sides of the tights and the inner thighs, you do have these flame logos going down to match sort of the theme of Hell's Gate. I wanted to give him like a black and gold attire, so I went with some Seth Rollins knee pads, the, uh, you know, the cash-in basic or whatever. You got black and gold. On the kick pads, you do have Kenny Omega with the gold and then the gold trim. Very, very uh, cool, you know, just decent looking attire. I thought it was pretty unique. I, I didn't want to use the blue one again, so I made a brand new Kenny Omega for the Elimination Chamber and Hell's Gate, so I thought that was a pretty excellent one. Pretty happy with this one as well. You know, not the most insane attire, but I thought it worked for the time being. He also had his custom, uh, his, you know, his custom rifle that was made that was an actual Fortnite scar. A lot of people pointed that out, but it was a Fortnite scar that I custom painted. I'm going to go ahead and grab that real quick so you guys can check it out. Psych, Brad, I can't show you because I can't freaking find it, but uh, there's Kenny Omega nonetheless, the elite champion with his black and gold attire. Next up, guys, we do have Roman Reigns. Now, this one was a really unique fix-up. I thought this one was pretty cool. I took a, uh, I pretty much just took a Roman Reigns Elite 65, which is the black and red attire, so he does have the black and red gauntlets on there, and I took that Roman, I took his legs off, I added some John Cena Elite 46 legs that have, you know, the black jorts, and then I put on some lower legs from a Jimmy Uso to give him that old, you know, Samoan, you know, Uso's bloodline, the taped up shoes look that the Usos used to have with the black and white. I thought it tied in perfectly with the shorts, with the, the vest that he wore. He did wear his day one-ish vest. He had the, uh, you know, the, the red bandana for the bloodline, and I thought it tied together well. One thing that did piss me off is that these skin tones weren't on, and that is because I think that these, these legs are painted, and uh, the Roman skin tone and the Uso skin tone is not completely perfect, but it is very, very similar and close, but I thought this was a really cool attire, and I wanted to change it up for the MDT champion. So I did go with this for Roman Reigns. Now this video's already been pretty long, so I'm just going to try and run through as much as possible. I do want to show this one off pretty good, though. Um, we do have Braun Strowman, and this Braun Strowman was made by BEW. Now I had the idea for a while. Obviously, Kane and Braun Strowman returned as a team. If you guys remember back at MDT, sold out. Kane did drag Braun Strowman under the ring. We hadn't seen him in months, and then he returned with Kane at MDT Hell's Gate. And basically, we took a part five. Is I think it was a part five. It's like sequence dream sequence Jason um, from the VHS cover or the movie poster they did have this Jason mask and it came with one of the NECA figures so basically what uh, I got BEW to do is he you know he hollowed out a head scan it's like an interchangeable head scan he hollowed it out and then he put the mask over the Braun Strowman figure and then he sculpted on this custom hair and then he painted up the mask and it looks so badass, man. Kane and him look so good up next to each other. And they I don't know how the hell anyone's going to stop these guys. But I thought it called for a really badass tag team. And they are working in tandem now. And I thought that was a really badass custom. BEW knocked this out of the park. He also knocked out that Seth head. He did a fantastic job on all of the work that he put into this show as well. Now, next up, guys, we do have Luchasaurus and we do have Jungle Boy. Now, I did show these off on the channel before, but pretty much we have a Luchasaurus and a Jungle Boy. The head sculpts were made by BEW. The rest of the figures were made by me. You got the curb stomp decals going on, just gold kick pads. You got the green going on. I know that uh, Luchasaurus is only 6'5", and I think Jungle Boy is like 5'10", or 5'11", or maybe even 6 foot. Um, I'm not exactly sure about that, but I am working on getting a new Luchasaurus and getting him a little bit bigger and taller, and I'm sure that we'll have an AEW figure of him sooner or later, like later on this year or the beginning of 2021, so I'll definitely replace it with that once we get the official figure, but I did want to show this off because they made that surprise debut in there. Next up, guys, we do have a couple MDT Championship Elimination Chamber uh, attires right here. We do have the Cedric Alexander in the Spider-Man attire, and then we do have the Velveteen Dream in the Blood line, you know, Uso slash Roman Reigns, like getting in their head attire. You know, he did rock this into the chamber to get a little mockery going of Roman. He's got the day one-ish. A lot of people are saying dream, dream day-ish or dream one-ish or, or something like that in the comment section. I thought that was pretty unique, but uh, all I did was torso swap an Uso's figure with an Elite 63 Shelton, put on regular Velveteen Dream arms, the head, put a MVP headband or a Terry Funk headband, and then the glasses, I think it turned out pretty freaking sweet. It all matched 
matches up. And then you guys have seen this before. It is the Spider-Man inspired attire for Cedric, who has actually approved it himself. He does have blood on his face that I need to fix. But uh, there's these two guys. Next up, guys, we do have the Young Bucks. We have the pink attires. And basically, this is their attires that we had, except I switched out their boot tassels with the Elite 60 Tyler, Tyler Breeze. So this is the TNF Tyler Breeze figure from Walmart, but I did just paint over all of the blue, the light blue stripes in pink and then added the zebra print. And then I added the uh, new tassels from the Elite 60 Tyler Breeze and I thought it turned out pretty freaking swell and they make a really cool black and pink attire. I also added their arms on there and uh, I think it turned out great. I did want to make a custom headband for Nick, but uh, you know, that hadn't panned out just yet. And again, we're waiting on those AEW figures and then I'll probably replace these finally. But they, these have so, uh, served for perfect placeholders for the Bucks and I, I've always loved, you know, the custom Bucks that we use here on the channel. So that's all good with me. I love the, you know, the pink attire. I thought it turned out pretty freaking swell. So I went with, uh, I wanted to do that. I tried to match it up with this pink as much as possible, and I thought it turned out pretty good. Next up, guys, we do have Tama Tonga and Bad Luck Fale, and uh, these guys came in at the end of the show, if you guys saw, and Tama Tonga is, uh, this is an old custom. I've had this for a long, long time, so you guys probably already have seen it before, but the head sculpt was made by BEW again, and then this figure right here was made by me fully. I took a Akam or Razor head scan. I can't remember which one. I'm sure you guys will let me know, but pretty much just did the bald technique to the head sculpt, gave him a grill, gave him a tattoo on his head, painted all the tattoos up, used a custom uh, Elite Authors of Pain, put some rock legs on it, and that's pretty much it for Bad Luck Folly. You know, nothing too crazy or over the top. I've actually shown this off, I think, on the channel before, maybe as well. Uh, maybe it didn't have arms on it, but uh, I did use the Akamor Razor arms. I just custom painted the tattoos. And there is our Tomatonga and Fale. And then last but not least, guys, we do have some fix-ups right here. We just have this Chris Jericho Defining Moments list of Jericho fix-up. We have this Elite 50 AJ Styles fix-up with the uh, Top Talents kick pads and then the Better Head Sculpt right there. I thought that was a really unique figure. This figure is super loose now after going through that chamber. Uh, we have a Elite fix-up on the Kurt Angle. I put the pissed off head sculpt because you know he was pissed off coming into that match with swagger i put the elite 66 angle with the old school boots i thought that was nice and then we have the custom kurt angle team angle jacket and then last but not least i've shown this in a video as well but it is orange cassidy who showed up in the iron man championship match and he is looking good in his skinny jeans his white stuff i'm working on making him shorter as well he's not supposed to be this tall so i am working on that that is a work in progress at the moment but Nonetheless, man, had a ton of fun making all this customs, had a ton of fun just making everything for you guys, making the show, getting everything up, and I really appreciate you guys for tuning into the show, watching it live. Again, I really, 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 really appreciate you guys checking it out and all the nice comments about Allie, all the nice comments about the show. Uh, it just it just warms my heart, man, and I just appreciate you all so much. But I want to know down below in the comment section which custom you guys like the most. Um, personally, for me, I think it is going to be the Buzz Lightyear Rollins. I really don't see how you can beat it. Uh, just because of, you know, I, I'm all, I've always been a huge Buzz Lightyear fan. And then once you, you know, put it together with Rollins, and it's very unique. I'm going to post better images of it onto Instagram. But I did want to put up the video to you guys showcasing all of these different attires because I had a lot of people wanting to see all the attires that were made for Hell's Gate. But uh, that is pretty much it. Going to do it for the video, guys. Thank you so very much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy. Comment down below again which one is your favorite. This video went longer than I expected to so I do apologize for that but I did want to get the in-depth look and I wanted all you guys to check out all of the different customs but I'm going to get the hell out of here and finally rest after just grinding so freaking hard on that show and grinding so freaking hard over the last week editing and getting this show up to you guys and finishing everything up but probably today I'll probably end up cleaning out the arena, switching it over to Vindication getting everything freaking ready to go and then cleaning up the room because the room a disaster too from uh, Hell's Gate. But that is going to do it for today's video, guys. Thank you so very much for watching. Again, comment down below your favorite custom from Hell's Gate. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE action figure videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.